They say that it's imbued with iron strength, making it impregnable to the enemy. That it's a real mouse at tier 8. And it's true. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's not a mouse at tier 8. It never will be. Hey, Unless they give it the armor of a mouse. Hey, so what's bigger? Uh, a VK 101P or the 168? The 168. The 168. What's bigger? <laughs> what's the bigger? The Maotian or the 168? The Maotian? <laughs> 168. The 168 is bigger. 168. So what's bigger? A mouse or 168? They're the same. <laughs> it's the same. Yeah, so it's as big as a tier 10 mouse, but it's got rubbish no armor. No armor, pretty much. It's got rubbish you armor. You cannot rely on the armor unless you're a very good side scraping gun. Yeah, I mean, that lower weak plate is ridiculously weak, and that, that hatch at the top is enormous and incredibly weak. Yeah. And you will get shot by tier sevens through that all day long. Yep, challenges. And challenges, no T43s. problem. T yeah. threes. Anybody, any medium player will just pen the front of you, no problem. That weak spot is enormous. It's not like um, the VK100 where at least the lower weak spot between the tracks and the hatch is a bit troll, isn't it? On this one, it's not troll at all. It, it, you do get the odd bounce, don't get me wrong. Uh, the bits of armor that are strong are very strong, but um, yeah, and, and plus it's slower than a T ninety five. Oh my word! Well, technically it's not as slow as T ninety five, but, but it, it's ridiculously slow. It has that problem in that it's so slow at twenty kilometers an hour. I I have never got ground. over I've never got over twenty five kilometers an hour. No, that's probably I, I downhill with a boost on. The I mean, highest I've ever got is about twenty two. It's, it's top speed is twenty according to the stats, but there's so there's the problem is that you you. You, by the time quite often if you go one way and the battle occurs on the other side of the map by the time you get there it's all over and that's the same problem you get with the T95 so you, you, you're stuck with this ridiculous speed um, yeah. it, it goes backwards almost the same speed as well yeah. um, it is, it, it's really difficult to have an effective game in this tank um, and I, I think some people are wondering this this tank looks like a Martian with its turret the wrong way around. It's sort, sort of, yeah, of. It kind of in is. In a yeah. way, it does. Cause it, it's more in common with the Martian yeah. in terms of its looks, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it looks more like The same that. hatch, pretty much. I mean, it, I suppose it should probably be this instead of the VK. Talking of which, this is 15,000 or 17,000 gold. It's actually cheaper I and told better. Someone, someone asked me um, after a game, they said, they said, is it good? And I said, well, it's okay. But probably not worth fifteen to seventeen thousand no. gold. Do you know what you could do with that gold? If you really wanted a tier eight German super heavy, you could get two of them. Well, just enrich, just enrich the VK one hundred oh one P. It's a better oh, tank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Or it's, it's or, smaller. Or it's got better front armor. Or you could literally just spend that gold and get like the Martian or something with the XP that yeah. you converted. Play that or you could just buy a Lerva. Buy some other heavies. Lerva will make you a, a ton of credits as well. Yeah. With it's, um, this makes okay credits. It's nothing special. Um, I think the Mr. Thing on this though, I, I think they should have put the 15 centimeter gun on it. Uh, and that would have made it a completely different story. Uh, and, and I know we can't really talk about what we don't have, but I know that they were looking at putting a 15 on it. And mm, could you imagine the, the fun you could have had with HE yeah. with that? It would have made it a really it interesting been, yeah. and diverse tank to have at this tier. Instead, yeah. they've just given it the same gun. But now it's a like commotion. Yeah, it's nothing wrong it's with it. Um, it doesn't do as much ram damage as I expect either. I quite often I'll ram things and I th I'm kind of like, really? Is that all the damage I got out of it? The only good thing um, about this probably is just to say it's gun. I'd probably just say it's gun. The gun is okay. The gun, the gun is good. Not too accurate, but it's alpha is good and it's penetration is good. Yeah. So landing them shots is the key to this turn. I think this would have been better if they'd have had it because they've put the the VK one hundred oh one gun on it, and I and I think this is the nerfed version of, of you know because they nerfed that gun because the tank was too strong. Also, but facing I think I would people. like. 
You can face up people. I and face up people. Certainly, some of the the Russian tanks have got not a lot of chance against you because the they're, gun's they're so quite, high. They're quite small, and you're quite big. Yeah, you can just shoot the top of the the turret, and, and, and they can't no they can't do anything about you um, unless they shoot your turret room. They can they can fire gold into you though, which sometimes yeah. happens. But uh, and that's but the other thing. If you face up this guy, if you, if you could, he would stand the chance. Yeah, um, but yeah, so. Uh, I I think this tank is uh, is okay at best, really. I certainly wouldn't recommend anyone buy it. Um, there are much better things you can do. Um, the the gun is is a funny thing though. There's sometimes it's not it's not. Sometimes you get really great accurate shots, and sometimes they really are not. And it, it's not German. It's not particularly German. The gun. I mean, it's not that sort of accuracy you you expect, uh, which is a bit of a shame, really. Uh, but then they've nerfed that. That's what they nerfed on on it before. So what can you do? Um, there are other things two you can do. Two for that. I know. Nearly four k damage in a two. I mean, it's that tall. You can go up. Uh, Hello, Fizzy Eleven. Um, there are things that you can do. Like you can go to the top of mines and shoot over the rocks there. And something else I wanted to ask you about was side scraping. What's your experience with that? It like it does work, but it also depends what tank you're doing against. Oh, it's so true. It's got 130 mm side armor, and I've I've been on on side scraping uh, positions, and I've, I'm not I'm a pretty shallow angle here. I'll be okay here, and I'm getting penned. I'm like, what, really? So anyway, five out of ten for me. Six, maybe five for me. Yeah, I uh, did say six up there. I give it five to six, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I certainly don't recommend it anyway. So let us know what you think, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.